Well, the coronavirus surfaced at the end of December in China. Fast forward one month and it's infected thousands of people now around the world. And some people have died in China. Let's get some perspective on the numbers. My colleague, that's ENZ reporter Michael Marilla, is joining us now in the studio. Michael, we saw the health minister earlier this morning here in South Africa, Dr. Zulim Kiza, allaying fears that, you know, they are prepared in case it, it comes. But in China as well, I mean, the coronavirus continues to wreak havoc in and around the area of Wuhan. Mm -hmm. That's the city where it started. But the numbers are seem to be spiking as well. Yeah, absolutely, Bradan. And uh, it is called the coronavirus because when you put it under a microscope, it has these spikes, which you can see uh, behind me. And corona is actually a word for crown. So we are calling it the crowned killer. And it is extremely scary. Although it manifests, Bradan, as pneumonia uh, or flu-like symptoms, it can kill people and it can kill them very quickly. So let's very quickly focus on the numbers and just give you a quick update on uh, where we are at the moment. More than 6,000 infections reported by officials. This is both in China and around the world. The death toll now, Bredan, standing at 132. Just to put that in perspective, yesterday the official death toll was at 106, so it is climbing relatively quickly. And I want to focus now on infections around the world. Uh, around about 15 countries have uh, reported cases of coronavirus. Thankfully, Bredan, no deaths outside of China as yet. But this is just a, a perspective on uh, where it se seems to be centered. For the most part, Bredan, in Asia, South Korea, Japan, Taiwan, Thailand, 14 cases. That's the highest outside of China. Australia has reported five cases. Singapore has reported seven. But this is also spread to Europe. Germany, four cases. France, four, as well as North America, Canada and the United States, seven cases between them. Of course, we live in an interconnected world, Bredan, where travel uh, happens all the time. So this is the danger with a virus like this. It can spread very quickly and very far. Yeah, so we've seen these cases uh, everywhere else, but on your map there, on the big plasma there, nothing in Africa yet. I can't see any dot or anything. Absolutely. So no confirmed cases in Africa yet, Bredan. And let's focus very quickly uh, on the situation in Africa. We did have a case that was tested on Monday. So this was a student returning from China. Uh, she was in the Ivory Coast, Bredan, suspected of, ha of carrying the virus. Uh, there have been reports of uh, action being, ta being taken by Zambian officials as well. Apparently a lot of Zambian students are studying in China, so they're taking some precautions. And precautions are very important, Bredan, because we saw back in 2003 the SARS outbreak. Chinese officials say that they have learned a lot from that experience, but it did kill more than 800 people. And in 2012, Bredan, we had uh, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, also known as MERS, that killed more than 700 people. So certainly there have been uh, several episodes uh, where uh, people have struggled to manage these infections, and that's something that the Chinese will have to deal with this time around. I want to quickly focus on some of the action that has been taken. The United States and Canada, Bredan, have already issued travel warnings uh, for China, as well as Hubei province, where this all broke out. And Japan has evacuated citizens from Wuhan. We understand about 200 citizens were actually evacuated just a few hours ago. And very quickly, Bredan, just to focus on South Africa, of course, the health minister delivering that briefing uh, this morning. But officials came out as early as Monday with a statement saying that South Africa is uh, ready for any imported cases of the virus, putting in place systems to identify, detect and respond to any cases. Yeah, I interviewed Professor Cohen from the NICD last week here yeah, on today, last week Thursday of the National Institute for Communicable Diseases. And uh, even then, last week they were saying they're prepared. This morning, uh, Dr. Zulim Kiza is saying they're doing everything possible. But unlike your USA and Canada, South Africa has not issued any travel warnings yet. But uh, Dr. Zulim Kiza appealing to South Africans, because we do a lot of business with China, please do not travel to Wuhan. Right. Uh, Wuhan particularly, because that's where the, 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 this virus has been concentrated. So a lot, of, a lot of sensible information coming out. No need to panic from what I'm hearing from the government. And Bredan, just to give you some context, Wuhan is a city of around about 11 million people. So that's even bigger than 
Johannesburg, just giving you some perspective on the kind of challenge that the Chinese are facing. Just the city itself, 11 million people. Thank you very much, Michael Marilla. The latest there, the numbers, and of course what the countries around the world are busy doing.